winner's finals. Winner's finals. Let's go. All right, we have the brother battle here. Um. Okay. I'm good. I'm great. That reminds me of that video. The what? There was like that one video. The Mario. We are brothers. I have no brother. <laughs> Do you okay. remember that so, video? I I, I, no I don't I don't know this one, but it sounds about. like there was like a star bomb thing with the like the star bomb song about Smash Brothers, and then Louis, Mario and Peach no. are like ganging up on Luigi, and he says like, "You're my own brother." It's pretty good. N it was like uh, what was it? Some yeah, oh no, whoa. All right, game okay. one, game one, anyway, game one, game. Honestly, if you're sassy, how do you go back to playing? <laughs> <laughs> I can barely that go back way. to commentating, and I wasn't even the one who was down taunting seven times. <laughs> I mean, that's how you go back to playing. You just keep hitting them with stuff. It's Luigi. Yep. All right. Anyway, honestly, the strategy for uh, for Sassy this time around is just trapping him at the ledge a time and time again. I mm. think that he saved onto his jump, but Dr. Mario, even with a jump, if he's too far out, he's he's just gone. Oh, he was fishing for that, and he's at rage, so... Oh, ne never mind. And, oh, oh, very good SDI. Very good SDI. <clears throat> just SDIing in super hard. Okay, that the dash attack is... Actually, fantastic. We're just sending him at a terrible angle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that missed. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter too much in the end. Just gets the ledge trap. That's really what's just oh, doing no. it for him. Oh, this might be it. This is the my, nope. oh no, he doesn't SDI actually see it to completion. That was good. That was really good SDI. I know that, uh, what is it? EDM taught me, uh, Expand Darn Man. He taught me if you ever want to spook a Luigi player, you just SDI in. They will get so scared. <laughs> like, just SDI in as hard as you can. All right. Roll behind up smash. A tried and true technique that we hadn't really seen him do something that straightforward. Hmm. But now, with about 76% dished onto him, uh, Karan has to work pretty hard here. Oh, he can't just oh. be rolling into smash attacks, but apparently he can oh. because he was not punished for that. Oh, That was Big a series of hard reads, but that doesn't matter anymore. That was so, such a good up smash out of shield. Down tilt is normally like a really reliable poke that you can do, but the mm -hmm. fact that up smash starts so far behind Luigi, that's yes. the sort of thing where if he was facing him, I think it probably would have been safe, mm -hmm. you know? But because he was facing away, up smash out of shield, actually able to connect. Exactly. So, I just want slide, to kick, shield, block. D that doesn't look like it hits anyways. Oh, n that is it a nose. Is it a nose? Look at that little no, nose. Wait. No, wait. Go back to the one frame where it hit. Okay. <laughs> so, wait. Go back one frame. They don't even touch there. He got his nose. Look at that. Their nose. That is cap on nose action right there. I will say, looking at Dr. Mario, like, spin like this is, is actually pretty... He's looking pretty cool. And then... <laughs> do, 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 and do, then... Do, 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 do. Goodbye. Hmm. Well. I want to see breakdancing oh. Dr. Mario. I keep missing, like, one kill. God damn it. Uh. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So, as we move on to the rest of this uh, rest of this set here, first of all, what stage do you think we're gonna see? Um, I'm actually kind of surprised we saw FT game one. I know that 
we have seen uh, Karan go here. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely not afraid to. Uh, who was it against? It was against Ah. Uh, he went to yeah. the stage. Um, but it, it did really feel like the ledge trapping specifically, which can be a lot harder on uh, FD. That's that's what just had that that consistency. The fact mm -hmm. that every time we got into ledge, it's 40, 50 percent, maybe even a kill. So I'd be surprised if we see FD again. But then again, it is a stage that Karan has shown he's comfortable with. Nope, we're not going to be seeing that. Instead, it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, I definitely agree with this. Having those platforms there can help out with the landing, for one. And might help out with combos. Nope. <gasps> Oh my god. That was that was it. Yep. That was it. And now it's back to a full stock lead. Although he is okay, no longer. I was gonna say he's at zero to death range, but that would be a lie now. I mean grab can still kill him, right? Yes it can, but not zero to death anymore. So it'll I mean, feel a little better. You think? Oh, oh, he hits him again with the stomp. That's the second time we've seen that. And honestly, a lot of today we've seen people struggling to edge guard. Um, sassy, but right here, no, that's not a problem for Karan. He's more than comfortable just going off stage, timing that down air, and ending his lives super, super early. I think also one thing that Karan is doing really well is reading how Sassy Flygon panics. Because so not only is it good to know how they move, but to see what they do when they are scared, when they're spooked. And what Sassy does is down B. So just re like anticipating that and just putting some, like getting away for a moment because you know that the down B is going to come out is huge. Trading forward tilts on each other's shield here. I, wow, I actually managed to roll through that grab attempt. And as you said right there, that panic option of the Cyclone, it, the invincibility from <gasps> really hurting him. And did he heck? And that's why he survived there? Yes, that is why he survived. Oh, oh. The latest hit of that Luigi missile able to keep him safe but at this point it's not enough to just be safe once he's at 122 percent and then there's an entire another stock mm -hmm. uh okay all of a sudden now he just needs to grab it. man I mean, it's it's weird man luigi's rage is on no rage is online me. so this no. zero to death is gonna be a lot less consistent oh, okay. all right which yeah, is why for damage. yeah Whoa. no He's no just, way! No. The He's reverse dead. three stock. Sassy. Oh my god! He's like, god. yeah, I can edge guard too. You well, mean, then. have we seen a single zero percent, like zero to death, from Sassy all tonight? No, it's just been like nope, we saw one combos. Just Didn't get a we? bunch of damage and then get a good edge guard. Just get a really sneaky kill that's that's all he needed didn't we see like one recently um it was zero to death but it wasn't the classic zero to death that was against okay um, i'm pretty sure it was against josh okay yeah because he was at 10 percent because he went up to the top of the screen <laughs> <laughs> he landed the combo but what? it wasn't at zero Oh, not respecting the frame one invincibility of that down me. All right, these two are just throwing moves at each other. The aggression right now from both of them. Oh, yep. that was not a good trade for Karan because that dealt more damage to him. <gasps> Ugh. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, great patience there. Oh, and that's going to... No, oh, and he gets it. Karan's timing has been so good. That's the first time I've ever heard that sound effect. That, ouch! Well, now you're just starting to listen to 
Now that Devin's pointed it out, yes. you're hearing all of the gross sounds that Luigi makes. The sounds of and... Luigi being down bad. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm into that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> into this. Oh no. Okay. <gasps> oh, great SDI. Yeah, you can Fantastic. see it right there. I think he missed, mixed up his SDI in the middle of it too. And you know what they say? SDI in to spook a Luigi. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Out just out of shield. We haven't really seen that as an option. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's actually kind of funny that we, you know, so Sassy is going through all of these moves. He's constantly, you know, just throwing out these aerials, trying to pressure him, trying to cut off any type of approach that uh, that Karan would go for. But in the end, it's his out of shield punishes that end up doing the most damage. Yeah. And because of that, Sassy is now so far ahead. How did That's he, it. How did he snipe him? That was amazing, amazing edge guards. How was he that consistent with that? That can be so tricky. But no, just every time there, he just finds the top. And that was a clinic on how to beat Dr. Mario. Even <laughs> without your zero to deaths. Just get him off and hit him. Yeah used Luigi's floatiness really, really well. Luigi has an extremely low fall speed, and that meant that he could jump out there kind of early. Yeah, just fall gently, and then just jump counterattack exactly when he needed to. And the fact that that was the last stock meant he could go even lower, start even earlier, because he didn't have to worry about recovering as long as he got the hit in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that means Sassy Flygon is now in the grand final, so... Yep. We've got the rest of the bracket pretty much decided. Like, we've got both of the losers' quarters going on. Uh, we got Uh versus Tejuice that's going to be coming up soon. But Joshathan Gamer just lost to Jay Grunt, so Jay Grunt making a pretty good losers' run, <laughs> going all the way from losers' round six all the way to losers' semis. He lost to um.